In the pneumonitis field, I was very fortunate to publish a study in the Journal of Clinical Oncology last year. Um, that was a large uh, reported series, a collaboration between Memorial Sloan Kettering and the Melanoma Institute of Australia. Um, that series included over 40 patients with, uh, with um, a pneumonitis from immune checkpoint inhibitors um, from all solid tumors, but mainly included lung cancer and melanoma patients. What was novel about that study was that it, it comprehensively reported that pneumonitis can occur at any time uh, during the treatment of a patient with immunotherapy. Um, and uh, it has since been reported that this can even occur after immunotherapy has stopped. Uh, the other sort of seminal observation from that, which is highlighted in the guidelines as well, is that pneumonitis is not all created equal. And there may be variable radiographic appearances associated with it. So clinicians should be aware that if a patient develops a new cough, shortness of breath, fever, or chest pain, and they do a CAT scan, that pneumonitis doesn't have a classic appearance. Um, and that the appearances may range from organizing pneumonia type, uh, ground glass opacities, hypersensitivity type, interstitial type, or not otherwise specified, which is a, a grab bag of all four of those appearances.